Hey, yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, make sure you head over to King Erna official page on Instagram. That's King Erna official page. The whole word, King Erna official page is one big honorable word. Also, make sure you get your honorable CMOS soap. That Condus Crispus, that Eucalyptus, that honorable peppermint soap that keep your skin nice and clear. Today, I want to speak on a few things, man. And a lot of people, you know, they ask, yo, Erna, we see you swaying towards giving a youth understanding in a different direction. We heard you speak about rats. We heard you attack them, snatch that honor. And I'm still always for dishonor when the real's at. I'm never going to be against that. Ever, 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 ever. But I want people to have understanding that the reason why it's not an everyday, all-day thing is because, honestly, I'm a grown man. I'm an adult. And to all the bloggers, your days are numbered. All the gossiping, we have to bring different content to the forefront. We got children that's watching our, you know, YouTubes and our Instagrams and social medias. And when they're scrolling, all they see is, Things that they're confused about. I had a parent reached out, hit me in my DM. They said, earn up. <clears throat> Look at these gill zumps. They're sitting here and they're misleading our children. My son just came to me and he saw a man dressed up like a woman and he wanted understanding. He said, we hear you do the voiceovers over the real ass and all that. But why can't our children get some help? Because our children are confused. And I don't want my son to be confused. So won't you do a voiceover where you're giving some understanding to individuals where they're not confused? Now, after I've done the video, sent it to him, he said, yo, now every day my son comes to me and he says, yo, King Erna gave me understanding. Now I know and I understand that a man isn't supposed to be dressed like a woman. And I'm like, damn, I didn't think so. I didn't want the content all up and down my page. I'm like, I don't like how these gill zumps look and they're giving me bad vibes. But at the end of the day, if I can save one child from going in that direction of following that gill zump, because whether you like it or not, when the gill zump put it out there and it's all up and down on the social media, your child is going to see it and it won't understand. Your child won't have understanding of what's going on. So with my voice over it, it gives understanding. But as grown men, let me give more understanding. A lot of them shoot them up bang bang stories. Where is it beneficial for us? As men, I mean, if you've been to jail, you've been into a cell, it's like, okay, cool. We done that. We survived that too. Do you hear the word survive? Meaning that we had to go through something in order to get some understanding that we shouldn't be in prison. We had to go through something in order for us to have some understanding that this is the wrong thing. Do we want to keep pro propagating that? Do we want our children to have that mindset of thinking that, that's the right thing to go through. How about going through something that has to do with struggle, that has to do with benefiting your family? How about education? How about mindsets growing? And I ain't talking about the education that the government is giving people. I'm talking about educating yourself of who you are as a person, who your people are. And, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, Erna, come on, man, it's bubblegumish. No, it's not bubblegumish because at the end of the day, I'm burnt out on the jail stories. I'm burnt out on the gangster stories. I'm burnt out on the shoot 'em up bang, bang, how you used to carry it. How you carry it in a positive form. How you carry it in a legal form. How you carry it for a law. How you carry it for your religion. If it isn't Islam, it could be Christianity. It could be Judaism. It could be whatever it is that you practice. How are you carrying it? And me, the way I'm carrying it, I'm carrying it for a loss of panel with the island. But at the end of the day, I do have understanding that I do not like betrayal. So you're going to see me come and snatch a kitten honor or two because of the betrayal. Not because of what they done or how they carried it or what long pistol they had on them or how many bodies they beat or how many they killed or, you know, how much money they made from the streets. It's like, this is becoming absurd to me and it's beyond me. And I need for everybody to follow and have understanding that that's not what we on, man. You bloggers, man, your days are numbered. It's boring. No one wants to get up every day and hear about another guy's story. Nobody wants to hear that anymore. Everybody wants to hear something that's going to benefit them. Y'all let Donald Trump, who I honored for what he done, 
A lot of things he done is like, okay, we didn't have understanding. A lot of people never seen money, seen some money. So cool. He gave people capital. He gave people cash, right? But people didn't do nothing with it. Here it is in this time. A lot of people are broke figuring out how to scheme or scam to get that type of money back again. But guess what? You won't get it back if you don't earn it and tuck it. Earn and tuck it. Earn and tuck it. If you're sitting around here and spinning it and trying to be cute for everybody else, guess what? You're going to lose everything that you got going on because your life is based off of you living for everybody else. I can't live for everybody else. I got to live for my family. I got to live for my loved ones. I got to live for the generation that's coming after me because that's the generation that's going to make sure that your children that are growing up now are successful. Right now, there's a young man probably on the streets that's struggling, their mother on crack, their father on drugs, or their father just taking care of another family, and they don't have no understanding of what to do in life. How are they going to get understanding when we come and we're talking about a shoot 'em up bang bang story 50 years ago? Come on, it's boring. And I want to say to my community and I want to say to my people, I apologize because I added to the problem. I added to these kittens. They're all betrayers. You can talk about the real zats all you want to. Guess what these guys going to do? Continue to run with rats. You can talk about all the shoot them up bang bang stories anyway. Guess what they're going to do when they get caught? Tell anyway. You could talk about how I, you got away with your cases and how you went to jail and what jails you've been to. But guess what they're going to do? Do crime and tell and be real zats anyway. So we got to get a mindset where it's like, leave that behind us. Maybe if we start promoting it, maybe individuals will start getting an understanding like, hold on, never mind the real sad. I don't want to be that. Erna got a thousand videos of him dishonoring real sad. If we want to go back and check on that, we could do that. But at the same token, how about raising a family? How about raising your children? A lot of us been in jail or a lot of us ran the streets to the point where we ain't even have time to, to care and raise our children the correct way. We thought dropping off some money or sending some cash or doing something was a benefit. But your child looking at you 20, 30 years from now looking and saying, oh, man, that's all he ever done. He never gave me no knowledge or nothing. Me and my oldest son, we talk about a lot of positive things. I say, nah. You're becoming an individual that's grasping a lot of knowledge. And that's what the law helps with my children. My children are always going to have knowledge for some odd reason. Alhamdulillah, a law puts it in them. And that comes from my genetics and my genes and my family. So why not keep that tradition going on? Why not keep the shaitan away from us? Because at the end of the day, when we keep them vibes and that negativity around us, all it does is keep us in that form. Before you know it, oh man, you got you didn't put some eye lights out, man. And guess what? Now you're in the jail for the rest of your life. And guess what? None of the people that's in the comments, none of the people that was pom poming you on is there. You're just there. You're just a memory. Maybe once in a blue moon, somebody might come and say, "Oh, shout out Erna. Ah, he was an honor snatcher." It's like, ah, I'm snatching honor where it's beneficial for other individuals to have understanding. Me snatching honor about you kittens who are going, going, going to go into that wrong direction anyway has no benefit. You know how many people that have DM me and said, thank you, Erna, and, I, and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to treat a real zat like a real zat, but it's not an everyday process. It's not something that I'm going to wake up and think about. Anybody that know me, they'll say, King Erna does that in real life. And on the social media, it's like, why? And he's done it in jail. It's like, why is he continuously going in this direction? My direction must begin to go up. And guess what? It has been. Since I've been still zapping until my arm is tired, a lot of people and a lot of families have been thankful to me. Hey, Erna, we appreciate it. We must, we must give you understanding that we are very grateful. And capital-wise, it's been growing. It's been, everything has been a blessing. A lot of people have been respecting the platform more, opposed to the Is Apple stories. That real Zed died in his flesh. He's died. He came forth. He came out. They got him out of here. He got himself out of here. They didn't get him out of here. Them guys sat around here and let that Mill Zed run around and do what he wanted to do. Dang. So I'm off for that and I'm on to this. Don't respect it, don't matter. Y'all know how I'm carrying it. 
I don't care about the political thing. The promo has been going through the moon. If you need promo for your business, make sure you hit my DM on Instagram, King Earner official page. Come with your honor intact. And if you want to real that dishonored, you got to come with the coins. There's nothing for free here. I got over thousands and thousands of videos here for free where I'm standing up for you guys. Well, guess what? Now you got to pay me to stand up for you because at the end of the day, I just stood up for myself and those that I love. It's time for you to stand up for you. King Earner Live and Direct. Don't forget, Honorable Condors Crispus Halal Earners. That's what we're doing. Everything is halal. Nothing is illegal. And if you come to me with any type of illegal nonsense, I'm going to still stab you until my arm is tired. King Earner Live and Direct.